So you got this big bubble, I got that big bubble. Now I exclaim, that is my bubble, the big one is my bubble. It went poop. Then I don't say, this is my air, that's your air. Life is just like this, this is a living cosmos. You captured some, I captured some. Now, the whole science of yoga is about breaching the boundaries of your psychological and physiological structure so that you imbibe more and more life. So after some time, the life that you are becomes more dominant than the body that you are, than the thought and emotion that you are. When your life becomes very significantly more than the psychological and physiological processes, if you sit here, you are a significant life, not necessarily because of what you do and do not do. You are just a significant life, simply by existence you are significant. Once it happens like this, oh, effortlessly you can function. Every human being is doing this knowingly or unknowingly, most of the time unconsciously. Some are depleting, some are gaining. But as there is a science for external well-being, there is a whole science and technology for inner well-being where you consciously obliterate the boundaries of your physiological and psychological boundaries so that the life that you are is so highly enhanced that you are a significant life. It's not necessarily because of what you do. Simply, your presence and your existence become significant. This is something every human being must do because in body, you are not a match for other creatures. Hello? You cannot run like a cheetah, you are not as strong as an elephant, you cannot even hop like a kangaroo. <laughs> you are no good actually, physiologically. Hello? See… Speak for yourself <laughs> <laughs> No, I am saying… <laughs> if you compare yourself with any other creature, what does the body do? It eats, it sleeps, it dies, reproduces and it dies one day. In all these departments, you are no good compared to other species. <laughs> they eat better than you. There are insects which eat, you know, fifty times their body weight in twenty-four hours. They sleep better than you. Many of them sleep for three months, six months at a stretch. Mm. They reproduce better than you, they produce in hundreds, thousands, some of them in millions for you <laughs> just to bear one child, how much fuss? <laughs> they also die better than you without fuss. So physiologically, you are not a great champion, all right? Among humans, you may be… Matthew Hayden may be good, all right? Among humans, not comparable to a rhinoceros or an elephant. <laughs> Nothing, not even to a gorilla, he'll just smash him up <laughs> Among the human beings, he's smashing the ball all the time <laughs> That's a different matter. I'm saying physiologically, we are not a great presence. Mm. Our significance is our intelligence and our ability to be conscious and inclusive. Every other creature always trying to set boundaries because their whole life is about survival. Once you become a human, survival is not the goal of your life. See, for all other creatures, stomach full, life settled. For human beings, stomach empty, only one problem, food. Stomach full, one hundred problems. <laughs> because what is human unfolds only after survival is taken care of. When survival is questioned, we are also just like any other creature fighting for survival. Only when survival is taken care of, other dimensions of being human come into play. So human life is not about survival. Physical survival is not the end goal of who we are. We are longing to be something more. How much more do you think would settle you? Hello? How much more would settle you? If I make you the king of this planet or queen of this planet, would you settle? No? What do you want? Okay, the solar system? <laughs> no? If I give you one galaxy, you will want the next galaxy. This is the nature of being human. Doesn't matter where the boundary is. The moment I see the boundary, I want to break it. So there is something within you longing to become boundless. If you do not find expression to this, do not matter what you have, you remain somehow unfulfilled. 
So this is what yoga means, that you breach the boundaries of your physiological and psychological nature, that if you sit here, you're a complete human being within yourself.